Hello everybody, welcome to yet another edition of I Know My Beer, the Brewers Blindfold Taste Challenge. Today we're down in Forest Park and I'm with Chris Below, who is the owner and brewer here at Exit Strategy Brewing. I'm, I'm impressed you finally got my name right. Thank you very and much, And you Chris. actually know what town you're in for once. <laughs> we have a running joke that I could never pronounce his name, but there you go. Um, anyway, today we thought that uh, as uh, he's here brewing, we thought he'd get and take some time out. I think you finished your brewing day there, right? Yeah, we're about halfway done. You're about halfway done. Yeah. Okay, good. And we'll see whether or not he knows one of his beers from a BJCP, that's the Beer Judge Certification Program, 2015 guidelines, they provide you with commercial examples, and one of those is sitting underneath my Union Jack here, and we're gonna reveal that. Are you ready, Chris? I am ready. Okay, Don the Blindfold. As I say, I think that's a great beer name. Okay, you can't see anything, right? Nope. Okay, how many fingers am I holding up? Four. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we are going to reveal the beers, and there they are, they are in the beautiful exit strategy glasses. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand you one of the beers and you're going to taste it. No, no, that's my hand. No. How are you? Hi, Welcome. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> and then you're going to taste it and then we'll give you the other one. You can taste that. Fair enough. Then you can tell me if you know your beer and what the style is. Okay. All then right. we're going to take the blindfold off, give him a chance to look at them and see, because if he gets it wrong the first time, he's got another chance. Okay. All right. You ready for this? Sure. Okay, here we go. So here is beer number one. Hold your hand out. Oh, well, there we go. You've got it. Okay, sip away. And talk us through it as you're going, as you're doing the sipping. Tell us what you're thinking and smelling. It's kind of got a happy and malty nose. A little sweetness on it. And there's plenty of it there, so he can sip as much as he wants. Mild bitterness, kind of like sweet on the end of it. Okay, yep. ready for number two? All right, I'll take sure. that from you. Being careful not to drop it. And we'll provide you with the second beer. All right, okay. And go right ahead, talk us through that one too. And it's got a different, not really a hop, not much hop on it. I will say, folks, that once he's finished tasting these, we'll let you know exactly where these beers came from, obviously. Well, we've put that up for you before anyway, but we'll give you a little more insight into it. Do you do this blindfold tasting often, Chris? How about uh, never? Okay, okay, good. It's a first. <laughs> Okay. So now one of these two is ours. So one of these two is yours, right. So is it number one or is it number two? So there's, I, I can give you another taste if you want. I think number one is ours. You think number one is I yours. Do. Okay. But I'd, like, right. I'd like to see him do it. All right, well, whip off the blindfold and you can take a look at both of these. Here they are. And you can hold both of them and compare both of them and sit both of them. But you gotta be quick now because we want you to make a choice as to what you can hold this other one. There we go. I'm not holding the glasses for him all the time. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, you can you can uh, you know sip away, but I'll push you to number one, tell me what the style is, and number two, tell me if you know which is your beer. I think number one, and I think that's our double IPA. This one yeah. So you're going with that one. So what is this double IPA? I think that's JD. JD, which is? Judgmental Dick. Judgmental Dick. This one might be an IPA, but I'm not 100% sure. Well, you're 100% correct, Chris. Oh, Indeed, okay. you have picked out your beer. He knows his beer. So this is your Judgmental Dick. This one is from Three Floyds, and it's Dreadnought. Oh, okay. which is a double IPA. Now, I have to tell you, 
that this, both of these came in cans, and I think your can is probably fresher than the can. Let me get the can. Hang on, step aside here. I've got this here. I want to see on the bottom if we can tell what date this was. Can you tell that? March 9th, 23. Okay, so March the 9th, 23. So here we are in May. So it's two or three months old. So what does that tell you? And I'll get yours out for comparison. We cut, we've got to be fair. This is this is kind of like, you know, the BBC. They have to be fair and balanced, oh, sure. right? So there is, uh, there's Judgmental Dick. And uh, telling the people, that's Dick is the name of the guy on there. And he was a guy who was very judgmental, right? He was. He was so indeed. Good so there friend we go. too, so. Yeah, there we go. So, and there is Dreadnought. We've got that one. So you got it right. 100% correct. So I'll tell you, folks. It was like a broken clock, right? What's Chris. It? knows his beer. So with our beer, the JD, we can kind of, since we've been making it for eight years, pretty familiar with like the the aroma from the combination of the, the hops we use, which are all Pacific Northwest, like traditional, you know, hops that are going into doubles now and kind of get that like sweet malt and a little bit of the honey because we do use honey in it as well. So it kind of has that that aroma that I'm used to uh, from that beer. So and then also we also use a little bit of caramel malt in some of our, our IPAs. So they're a little bit darker than like, especially when you compare them to like the, the Dreadnought, it's a little bit darker in color. Um, so I think those are just some of the, kind of the characters I was able to pick up on on that one. And I don't know if the, if the hops from this one are kind of hiding the the hops on the Dreadnought because I didn't get much in terms of the the nose, like a hoppy nose on it. Uh, and I think the bitterness was maybe a little bit more subdued than than ours was, but that could just also be doing a back to back IPA as well. I forgot to ask you, Chris, what's the ABV? Ours is eight percent. As how much? Eight percent on JD. Okay. So I don't know what Dreadnought is. This is it. It's nine point four. So a little bit, a little bit higher alcohol. So maybe a little bit more alcohol burn on the on the Dreadnought as well. Well, Chris, you certainly did well, <laughs> and you know your beer. Yay!